You've probably heard of apples on a stick or maybe hot dog on a stick, but router on a stick might have escaped you thus far in life. It sounds wacky, but it's the incredibly useful topic of today's video, albeit less appetizing. In this edition of Tech Talks, we'll show you how to configure router on a stick and enter VLAN routing on an RV340 and CBS350 switch. Next. First, we'll start off by configuring the CBS350 switch. We're going to want to create two new VLANs. Let's head to VLAN management. Here we can see our default VLAN is VLAN 1. It's best practice to change our default VLAN, but for this example, we will leave it as default. We'll click on add to create our new VLAN. Here, we'll give it a VLAN ID of 10 and name it sales. We're going to leave the VLAN interface state and link status SNMP traps enabled. All we've got to do next is click apply to add the VLAN. Let's create another one. This one will have an ID of 20 and will be named HR. We'll click apply to save. Next, we're going to head over to IPv4 configuration. We're going to click on add on the interface table. Here, we can add an IPv4 interface for each VLAN. We'll start off with VLAN 10. Since we know what we want our IPv4 interface to be, we'll choose static IP address for its type. Now, we'll enter in the IP address. We'll choose 10.15.10.10 with a network mask of 255.255.255.0. We'll click Apply to save and close. You guessed it. We're going to do the same thing for VLAN 20. This IP address will be 10.15.20.10, and the network mask will still be 255.255.255.0. We'll click Apply one last time on the IPv4 interface page to save changes. Next, we'll go to VLAN Management and choose Interface Settings. We must make the port that is connected to the router a trunk port. In this example, Interface GE1 is the port connected to our router. We'll choose it and click Edit. All we've got to do here is switch the interface VLAN mode to trunk and click Apply. Next, we'll add ports to our VLAN. To start, we'll go to Port VLAN Membership. For this example, we'll add ports 3 and 4 to VLAN 10, one at a time. After we choose port 3, we can click Join VLAN. Here, we'll change the Access VLAN ID to VLAN 10. We'll leave the native VLAN ID at 1 and click Apply to save. We'll do the exact same thing for port 4. Next, we'll add ports 20 and 21 to VLAN 20. We'll take the same steps as before, but we'll change the access VLAN IDs to VLAN 20. Now that we're finished configuring the switch, we must configure our router so that we can have inter-VLAN routing. Once we're logged into the router, we can click on LAN and choose VLAN settings. We need to create VLAN 10 and 20 on the router. We'll click on Add and give it an ID of 10. We need to make sure that inter-VLAN routing and device management are enabled for all of this to work. Next, we've got to enter the IPv4 address and subnet mask. If the router is going to be giving our addresses to the client, we'll need to enable the DHCP server. We can choose a range start and end, but we'll leave it as default. We'll click Apply to save. Next, we're going to add VLAN 20 and follow the same steps as before, but the IPv4 address will be 10.15.20.1. Here we can see that the client is on VLAN 10 and was able to ping our VLAN 20 interface. It looks like the ping was successful. That's all there is to it. That's how to configure router on a stick on the RV340 and CBS350 switch. Thanks for watching this edition of Tech Talks. We'll see you next time.